Hi everybody, it's Miss Penny from Marine Reunion Library. How are you all today? Good, I'm glad to hear. Um, it is August, we are officially into August. Can you believe that? This summer went so fast, I am amazed. Anyway, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. We Today I'm gonna show you a little bit about making a um, comic book or a comic strip. Uh, a little a little bit of fun comic book day is august 14th this year it got moved um i don't remember what month it's usually in i think may this month or this year it got moved to august so comic book day is august and so i thought for a little bit of fun we you guys can make your own little mini comic book or a comic strip you don't have to make a book you can make it a little bit shorter and so I'm going to show you a few books um, and so that you kind of know a little bit of like what they are, how they go, how you go about making them. And then I'll show you a couple ideas and then you guys are free to, well, you've already signed up if you're watching this video. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You can just do this at home. You don't even have to sign up for the kit if, you, if you're too late or if you just don't want to. Uh, you can just get your own stuff at home and make your own um, comic strip or book. Okay, so let's start this. All right, I'm going to show you a couple things. So here is this book um, by Selena Yoon, Yoon, and it is called My Kite is Stuck and Other Stories. All right, so this is just like, it's like a graphic novel, which is kind of a little bit of what you're doing. So one, My Kite is Stuck. And... So this one's kind of, um, this one's almost like written into an actual book versus comic um, strip style, okay? But it's still, um, it's considered comic strip versus book. It's got the bubbles and when the, when the characters are speaking, there's bubbles. And that's kind of one of the ways that you can kind of tell apart. So here's a couple of um, pages that I'm just kind of showing you, but this is like a bigger, this is a big one. There's also, so this would be, there's that, got you. All right, then we have, here's a different kind. Oh, all right, here's a different kind. You guys might get a kick out of Small My Foot mm -hmm. by Cece Bell. Yep, uh -huh. this is a new Barry Award winner. <laughs> probably because you guys get a kick out of this kind of stuff. So this is another kind of way um, to do it. And these are in boxes. So they're in their in own individual boxes. And that's probably how you're more used to seeing them. But you'll see that each one um, also, they're speaking and they have bubbles above them. And that's another way that you kind of tell. But smell my foot. That sounds funny. You guys might want to come check this one out. I don't know. Some of you might find this super funny. There's a lot of feet, uh, feet going on in this book. Okay, so that's a different type of one. Let's take a look at this one. This one is considered a graphic novel. Novel. All right, and this one we've got Penguins on Ice by Sergio Selma. And here we go, graphic novel. See, so it's it's very similar. Graphic novels and comic books, I think, um, they're pretty similar. They're different, but they're similar. So. Same thing, they each have their own little boxes. So they're telling a story. A comic book is, um, it's a sequence of Im images or pictures and um, they have a little bit of text or words in them and they each have their own separate boxes. And a lot of times the boxes um, have balloons and if they don't have balloons, then maybe it's written as captions, the words. So that's how you can tell. But comic strips and books are also, they're written, uh, they're a form of a story. So it's like a form of storytelling. This is like a form of storytelling. And it uses drawings or it uses cartoon characters to tell that story. Most comics are funny, but there are some that can be serious. So this is another one, sorry. Sticky Burr. Adventures in Burwood Forest by John Lechner. This one actually looks kind of funny too, but it's another um, idea of a graphic novel. So again, each little section is in a box. So it's telling a story box by box, 
All right, and all the characters are speaking in bubbles. Here we go. Oh, here's, this is, this is one of my favorite. I used to read this all the time, Kelvin and Hobbes. Um, yeah, I, I don't, you don't, you don't have to like it. It's just something I used to like. The Revenge of the Baby Set. So it's a Kelvin and Hobbes collection by Bill Watterson. Watterson. And um, this one actually, Kelvin and Hobbes, this one's actually not in color, but it doesn't matter to me. So some can be in color, some do not have to be in color. This one is not, like I said, but see, same thing. It is in boxes. All right, and, and so some of them are in bubbles, some of them are not, but they're speaking. You can tell who is speaking in each one. All right, and then we have, I have one more that I'd like to share with you, this graphic novel, Super Turbo versus the Pencil Pointer. All right, versus the, um, let me find out. Hold on one second, everybody. Bear with me. Written by Edgar Powers. That's who I was looking for, the author for you. So another graphic novel. There we go. Written in boxes. So most are like that. Most, but not all. Not all are like this, but that doesn't mean that it's not a graphic novel. Okay? So that's the idea. You're telling stories in um, drawing form almost. You guys ready to do this? I hope so because usually you only sign up if you really want to, right? If you're really ready to do this. So I have in your kit the directions, just kind of walks you through it, all right? It's kind of telling you a little bit how to go about uh, making your own comic strip and it kind of gives you a few ideas. One thing that I would like you to really remember is to begin with pencil. All right, everything you start with on these, do it in pencil because that way if you make a mistake, you can erase it. No big deal. All right, if you do it in marker or pen, you cannot erase this. Um, yeah, there's whiteout, but you can still see that whiteout. You know, it, whiteout doesn't necessarily blend with paper. So start with pencil. Don't finish it. Don't, don't complete anything. Um, don't complete anything until everything... Wait, don't complete any, don't do anything. How do I want to say this, everybody? Do everything in pencil. So finish the entire thing in pencil. This is what I want to say. Finish the entire thing in pencil before you start using any other items. There we go. I got it out. I got it out. So the things that you're going to want while you're for, to get ready for doing this, pencil, pencil, pencil. You can use several pencils or just one with a sharpener. Make sure they have good erasers or if you have one of those little, you know, pink erasers or white or whatever color erasers they are, okay? Pencils, erasers. Pencils, erasers. Sharpeners if you need them, okay? Then if you're going to want to shade it in, then colored pencils or markers. Or if you just want to use crayons, go ahead and grab crayons, all right? a fine tip marker or a pen, okay? Because you're not gonna wanna use a thick marker because if you're if you're writing um, and you use like a thicker marker, uh, your writing is just gonna blur all together. It's gonna blend. You're not gonna see what you wrote and then you're probably not gonna be very happy. Fine tip, which is really thin, which is like a pen. See how thin that is? Can you see that? Really thin. It's like a pen, but it's this is a permanent marker, but it's like a pen, okay? Those are the things you'll want. Oh, also some, maybe some scrap paper or like if you have lined paper like you use for school, a notebook, because before you begin, you, it might be a good idea to practice your storyline before you start writing it into your comic book. That way, if you do have mistakes and you don't want to erase them, recycle your paper, recycle start a new page, that way you can get all your ideas here, then when you're ready to execute your ideas, you put them into your comic book, okay? Scrap paper or notebook paper or something like that. If you have a stapler, that could be good. And then um, and then you'll, I'll, you'll have a piece of paper in your kit. This is gonna be your cover. This is gonna be your book cover, okay? So I am not making one, I'm just showing you how to, okay? 
this is some some neat stuff here it's just showing you how to create your own comics so if you guys could just read this stuff it's really fun to read so it's like a comic a comic uh learn how to make your comic reading a comic see so yeah one relax let your mind wander into a world of its own watch what happens in your mind as you let it wander you're gonna pick a character while your mind is wandering then draw it draw it with your own personal flair and style repeat until your book is complete something else to remember Proofread. Have somebody proofread your paper before you're completely ready to, to go because you might think it looks okay and then um, if you if you copy it over with your permanent marker and you may have misread something, you may be mad with yourself too. I don't know. You may not be. You might not care, but maybe just ask somebody to proofread it before you copy it over, okay? So this gives you ideas on how to kind of think about how to start your story this gives you ideas on what a comic book is and how to go about starting writing one. Um, you are going to have, I'm going to go ahead and give you blank comic book pages so that you can um, draw your own comic books or your own things in there when you're ready because first you're going to practice on your scrap paper, right? And um, when you're finished, when you're completely finished, Okay, we're going to pretend this is your comic book that you finished. You got it all complete. This is going to be your cover. You're going to take your book. You're going to just kind of fold this over. So it completely covers it. It's like a perfect book cover. Okay, this, as you can see, is very plain. What I would really like to see is you to make a title and a cover like make a really good cover like look at these books these have covers see there's a title there's a cover okay what is your story what did you write about did you write about um the library is the best place to be what kind of picture would you put on a cover like that think about that okay what is the main storyline that's the type of cover see all of them have titles covers what else does a book have on their on their cover page. Can anybody tell me? So they've got, yeah, yeah, they have that. Mm -hmm. They have the title. They have some pictures on kind of what the book might be about. What else? Yes, I heard it. The author. Who's the author of your um, comic strip book? You. So if you could please write the author's name, that would be awesome. So write the author. And what what else is in what else is there in a in a comic book? There's an author, but what else? Hmm. Who can think? What else? I don't think I read. Um, yeah, I wrote. I read who the authors were in these books, but did I read what the other person that helps out? Not on all books. Some people do all the work. Let me see if some of I read one book where there was two. Come on, guys. Spit it out to me. What was it? I think it was the last book that I actually saw. Who's got it? Who's got it? Yes, very good. Illustrator. The illustrator is the one who draws the pictures. You're the one that's doing the pictures and the writing, which means you're the illustrator as well. This book has an author, so it's written by Edgar Powers, but it was illustrated by Salvatore Costanza. So, this one had to have two people on there, but yours will just have yours. So anyway, that's what I would like. If you want to come in, check out some graphic novels or comic books, that would be great. That'll give you some ideas, especially if you don't really quite know what exactly you're kind of doing here. Um, come check some out, read a couple, and you can see what exactly might go on the back cover, what might go on the front cover, just in case you don't know. But author, illustrator, title, and a picture of what your story, comic story, is about. You guys, I think these are going to be amazing because you are all amazing. Enjoy Comic Book Day. Um, don't forget, you can come in for free comic books on Comic Book Day, August 14th. Have so much fun. I hope to see you guys in September. Have so much fun, everybody. Have a good rest of your summer. Bye!